Hi guys, um, it's the 15th, it's 12.48, I wasn't gonna film anything, not until later at least, or maybe not at all today, but I'm just, I can't just, like, not film, even if I am having a bad day, I can't, cause, like, I have too many bad days <laughs> to, like, to not film, and then... And, and then, I would never film. I don't know. I just, I woke up this morning, and I couldn't, like, wake up, wake up. And I was laying there, and I was just thinking about how it was so cold, because it was freezing. And I cu cuddled up into the blanket with my cat. And, and I just, I don't remember falling back asleep, but I did, and then... I woke up and it was Cody. Um, he woke me up because my mom was annoying him, of course. Um, so he called me, woke me up, and I woke up from my phone going off. And then because of my phone going off, my watch goes off. So I'm laying there with my watch going off, thinking it's completely normal. And I'm just sitting here and I'm like, wait, my watch is going off. And then I'm like, wait, someone's calling me. And it was Cody. At first, I had a little bit of a freak out, but then I was fine. Um, my mom was just annoying him and stuff, so it's fine. And my mom, I was talking to her. Sorry, I'm changing. Taking my pants off. <laughs> but um, I was talking. I was talking to my mom. Focus on my face. I was talking to my mom because... She was like, I knew she wanted to go shopping today and stuff. And she's like, I want to leave by 1.30. And I was like, okay. Um, and I ended up sleeping in late because I couldn't get out of bed. And I fell back asleep. And I didn't mean to fall back asleep. And she's texting me. And she's like, like over and over again. She's like, hello, 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 hello. And of course, I didn't wake up until Cody called me. Because unless I'm in a really light sleep. My phone with my watch going off for text messages like that over and over again should wake me up. Otherwise, you have to call me or I'm not going to wake up. Um, so I told my mom, I'm like, yeah, I slept in late, you know. And she has no idea about what happened last night. And she has no idea how late it was up. She has no idea about anything. But I told her, you know, sorry, I slept in and yada yada. I fell back asleep. The first thing she says to me. You're lazy. And whether or not she's joking, whatever, it still hurts. She knows I'm not doing this to be lazy. And she knows I hate to be called lazy. She's called me lazy since I was in fourth grade. For sleeping in late because I can't sleep at night. Or for sleeping in late because I can't stay asleep at night. Or for not wanting to do something... Or get out of bed because I'm busy crying and I'm lazy. So, I know she might not mean it, but it doesn't help the fact that I still feel hurt about it. I don't... I don't know what to do. Of course I'm going to go see her and I'm probably going to have to talk to her, but... It's just not a good way to wake up. It really isn't. And then instead of not filming anything, I might as well film. Because of course I'm not going to be one of those people who only films the good days because not everyone only has good days. But sometimes I just don't feel like filming and today was one of those days, but I'm kind of glad that I started filming today. I couldn't sleep last night. I even took my anxiety medication before bed because I was freaking out for like four hours and my heart rate was up really high and I just kept freaking out and so I took some. I'm gonna wear bright yellow today. Don't judge me. I'm gonna wear my yellow paint, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I mean, 
I couldn't sleep last night, and it took me a while to fall asleep. It took me a while to calm down. But I finally fell asleep, and then I couldn't wake up this morning, and I don't know why I couldn't wake up this morning, but I couldn't. And I fell back asleep. I don't even remember falling back asleep. I just remember laying there and being like, oh my god, it's so cold. And I curled up in the blankets because I was freezing. And I laid there with Melanie. And Melanie kept me company for a while. And I just don't remember falling back asleep. Like, usually I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to go back to bed or something. Like, I'll say to myself, like, yeah, let's just go back to bed. And I don't really care. But today I cared. Today I wanted to wake up at a decent time. And I didn't. Maybe it's just me beating myself up, but I've been struggling a lot, especially recently, these last couple weeks. I've been struggling. I gotta put deodorant on. Please do not. Do not judge. <laughs> if anything, it's good I'm putting it on. But, uh, my jaw. But, I don't know. I, I've just been struggling a lot these last couple weeks with my anxiety. And then when my anxiety is not bugging me and keeping me from sleeping and stuff like that, my depression's really bad and I'm not in a very good mood. And I just, I haven't been okay these last couple weeks, like at all. And I've been trying to be okay and stuff like that. And I have, like, I've told a couple of friends, like, about me struggling recently and that's about it. And for the first time last night, I actually told Cody, I was like, you know, I haven't been okay this last couple of weeks, like, my anxiety's been really bad and that's just not been okay. And he gave me cuddles until I fell asleep, and that was cute. But, like, I understand that he doesn't understand, you know? But he's trying everything he can, and... My anxiety got better for a while to the point to where I could kind of live my life. Like, kind of. And now it's back to the point to where I can't even leave the house anymore. Like, kind of anxiety. And of course I'm going to go shopping with my mom, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to freak out or something. I'm still trying to get sleep out of my eyes. Oh, but... I don't know. I gotta put my shoes on. I'm just trying to live my life. When I'm out with my mom, I think I'm going to ask her for a coffee from Tim Hortons. I have to go to Cody's work because i got to get his key from him. Um, or not his key. Why did I say key? His card. Sorry. I'm going to get his card from him. I'm going to set you on the floor so you'll probably be pretty low. But i got to put my shoes on. Hey, Bubbles. Hey. Yeah. <sighs> Yesterday, I wasn't feeling very well. My anxiety got to the really bad point. And I was just freaking out. And I was trying to do something. And I was trying to get comfortable. And I was just in full freak out mode. And Pebbles came. And she came in my lap. And I'm freaking out. And then I ended up yelling at her, and I didn't mean to yell at her, and I knew she was coming to me because I was panicking, because usually when I'm panicking, she runs to me, and she hops in my lap, and she makes me feel better. She's, like, literally my emotional support animal. She's my baby. She is. I love her. Yeah, babe. <laughs> but... Don't worry about my lumpiness. I know I'm full of lumps. I'm lumpy. That's not the point here. I've just been having a hard time and I haven't I haven't been telling many people that I've been having a hard time. And I feel like I just I gotta tell people I'm having a hard time. So if I don't tell people I'm having a hard time and then I cancel plans or do this and that, how are they really supposed to know? Or understand why I'm not doing it. Or 
why this and that or why am I the way I am if I'm not telling people and I hate telling people I hate being like this you know how badly I wish I was normal I really I really wish I was normal but I, I don't live a normal life and it's not my fault come here it's not my fault I it's not like I do this on purpose I don't live this life on purpose if it was up to me I would have a job. I would help support myself. But half the time I can't even go outside or leave my bed. And I try my hardest. I really do. I had my last job for over a year. And the anxiety just kept building up and building up. And it just kept getting worse. And my depression kept getting worse. And next thing you know, my body has a breakdown. To the point to where I can't even, I can't work, I can't go to work. Just thinking about going to work, thinking about going to a job interview, leaving the house to get in the car. Like, my heart starts racing, I start freaking out, and then I'm shaking, and I can't drive because my vision goes weird. And, I like, I can't, I can't, I can't. And I try, but I can't. I try. I try. I try. Pebbles knows this. She's my babe. She knows. This might end up being the whole vlog today. I might, add, uh, what, what, what? I might, I might, I might add on more later. Um, sorry, I kind of stutter and stumble over my words. Um, when I'm anxious. Usually I cut that stuff out, but I'm not gonna cut that one out today. <sighs> but, yeah, I, I need to set you down for a sec. I usually, um, if I stutter and stumble over my words, I usually cut that out, but in this video I'm not going to. Um, I do that a lot when I'm anxious. I stutter and stumble over my words. And that's just me. And I can deal with that. I was going to stay in there to film a little bit more. But it's very echoing there. Because we have like nothing in the bathroom. I'm going to put my deodorant back. I got to brush my teeth. And then I got to wait. For my mom to come get me whenever that is probably soon yeah babe I know, I, know. <sighs> I also need to drink some water yeah Kenny I know I know yeah yeah she's my babe I don't have much water left in here. Uh, I might film more later. But if I don't... If I don't, then this is the end of the vlog and this is all you're gonna get today, but... It's better than nothing. You know? I just... I'm trying so hard to get better, to be okay, to feel okay. And every time I start getting to the point to where, yeah, I think I'm okay, my body goes, no, you're not. Wow. I know, Bubbles, I know. I know. Wow. Yeah. So. I don't know. I'm just struggling, but. If you don't struggle, how do you get out of it? I mean, if you just lay down and let it happen and you don't struggle to do the stuff that you gotta do, then how do you get better, you know? I don't know. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. My phone went off. Probably my mom. You know, 
was in my mom. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go brush my teeth and blow my nose because I'm really stuffed up. And See you guys later or tomorrow. Sorry for the downhill kind of vlog, but I needed to do this and I feel better for doing this. Hey nerds, um, I'm deciding to film again, um, cause I'm actually in a better mood. It's almost five, I'm not wearing a shirt, um, my shirt's right here, but I got home and I cleaned out the pantry and stuff, and my mom got me a coffee and I think it's that, instead of all that energy going straight to anxiety like it tends to sometimes, it went straight to let's go, let's do this. Don't worry about the cardboard in the back, that's where we keep our extra cardboard for when we go to move again. Uh, my hand's are really shaky, so I'm sorry. Um, I've been moving a lot. I've been jamming out to music. I, um, I cleaned the pantry and I organized it. Here, let me show you. It used to be a mess, but I actually organized it. I got Cody's, uh, ramen for work. I got egg noodles. I got more bread. That's our bags of cereal. And back there we have a couple boxes of cereal and some, uh, mac and cheese. And then down here we got, like, our oatmeals and seasonings and all that other junk. And then down here, I have, I'm going to use my foot, this is all tea, this whole area, this is all tea. Um, now I'm going to use my hand because that seems kind of weird. Th these are tea, behind there is tea. We got some juice mixes, more juice mixes, more juice mixes, uh, protein powder, we got almond butter. So I got all that done. We got a really weird pantry, by the way. So, I got that done, and then I went into the fridge, which is kind of empty. Uh, most of the stuff I buy is, like, more so less perishable. So, I'm just going to turn the camera this time. Don't worry about my stomach. So, I got stuff for salads. I got lunch meats and cheeses. There was a lot of extra stuff in here that needed to be cleaned out. Like, our fridge is pretty empty. It's mainly, like, like look at that. It's, like, condiments and butter <laughs> and then leftover pizza. But I cleaned a bunch. And then I did the dishes. All of the dishes are clean. Most of these are containers that were in the fridge. Because, like, I'm going to be honest here. And it sounds really, really gross. But I want to be completely honest. Oh, I forgot to put Car Cody's card on his desk. But I want to be completely honest. Especially because of this morning and how I was feeling. And uh, the people who watch um, must know at this point that I got, like, severe depression. So, most of those containers... To be completely honest, were mainly gross. By gross, I mean some of them had mold in them, and it's just, it's stuff that I never really have the energy to clean out, or I don't, like, it's hard to explain. Unless you've been where I am. What? Is this a stain on my shirt? But, unless you've been where I am, it's kind of hard to explain. But, like, it's the same one you don't have the energy to, like, take a shower every day, or every other day, or brush your hair, or get dressed, or get out of bed. It's that same thing, but, like, with cleaning out the fridge. And then when you have a partner, like me with Cody, who doesn't like to do the dishes and clean out the fridge and stuff, and you're the only one who's going to do it, it takes a while to get done. And sometimes it's forcefully done. And today I was cleaning out the pantry, and I was organizing the pantry, and then I'm like, you know what, I'm going to do dishes. I had this little bit of energy, I'm going to use it for good especially after how I felt this morning, and I'm like, I don't even care if I'm tired for the next four days because everything I'm doing today, but I gotta put my socks on, but I, get, I did that, and I cleaned that. The sock is weird. I'm gonna get a different sock. Ignore me. But, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so it takes a while to get stuff like that done, and now that I don't have a job because of all my issues and stuff make it really hard for me to work, I have the time to do it, I have more than enough time to do it, but I just never had the energy, and it's hard to explain, and it's kind of like sounding lazy, but like, I'm not lazy. I don't know how to explain it, but I got it done, I still need to clean the fridge, like, something spilled in the bottom a few days ago, and it's like kind of like gross 
and I need to clean that, but I just did a bunch. Um, I took the cat's food and water bowls, and I, like, fully cleaned them out, refilled them. I did that. Um, I didn't do their boxes today. I'll probably do their boxes tomorrow. Um, uh, I jammed out to music. It was, it was kind of fun jamming out to music and stuff, and I'm glad that I got a lot done. And I feel like how I felt this morning to how I feel now, I feel like it 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 doesn't it's not like it necessarily gives me motiva motivation, but like it makes me feel better to know that I could be having a really bad day and still have good stuff come out of it. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I don't know. There's obviously a lot more cleaning I could have done. I could have vacuumed and cleaned out the fridge fully and stuff like that. I even took out the garbage and I don't know. I feel like I did a lot considering I don't tend to do too much, sadly, and I should really do a lot more than just like dishes and bathroom stuff. But I mean, I swept the bathroom and I got a lot of junk done and it's only five o'clock and I literally just turned my PC on. It hasn't been on all day. I woke up late. I went out shopping. That was kind of fun. Um, hanging out with my mom for a little bit. That made me feel better. It usually does. Um, and Cody should be home in like half an hour, actually. That's actually pretty cool. I got all that done before he got home. But, um, yeah. I just wanted to add another clip to the video and not just leave it at me being sad and not okay. I kind of wanted to add something to be like, I'm actually in a good mood and it's okay to be in a bad mood, but it's also really nice when something good comes out of it, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the vlog now, and I'm gonna do a little bit of chilling out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.